Welcome folks to what will be the most challenging playthrough of Fort Zombie I have ever attempted. This is Highlander's surgeon Ben Riley. He is configured as a doctor with 30 smarts, 10 speed, 70 toughness, 10 power, and 10 finesse. He's going to need that toughness because this will be a tough run. His initial skill set includes 55 blades, remember that in includes your finesse, 80 spot, 70 medicine, 60 first aid, all those include your smarts. And lastly, he will have a pathetic 20 interaction. Our surgeon here does not have the best bedside manner. But anyway, let's get started folks, we'll be playing on the hardest difficulty again, Ever McCormick High School. And in addition, in case that wasn't enough difficulty, which it isn't, we'll be playing with several conducts. Since we're a Highlander surgeon folks, we will be limited to only using blades to inflict damage. In addition, since there can only be one, Ben Riley will be the only survivor to be armed. You heard me right, that is what's going to make this the most challenging playthrough ever. Everything else is pretty much gravy. Whenever I find survivors, I'm going to have to disarm them if they have weapons immediately after they are recruited. If I can't recruit them, well then I can't disarm them, so that's a non-issue. And then, next... Ben Riley will be the only survivor to go on raiding missions. Of course, the exception of that being whenever we go on survivor missions, because they'll, you know, already be on the raiding party. But I'll kick them off as soon as I get an opportunity, as soon as they are back to the fort. Let's see, and after that, there's one more conduct, but let's wait until we get to the fortress. Right now, I need to find a bladed weapon. Because if I can't inflict damage, folks, well, I can't clear out the fortress, which means I can't actually progress in the game. So finding a blade is sort of a big deal. Sort of a big deal. As you can see with my 70 toughness, I can run for pretty much ever. Toughness is definitely the most powerful stat in the game, folks. It determines your stamina, how many 5.56 five, you can take to the chest, and how long you can swing your fists, a blunt weapon or a blade. Oh, Jesus. I, I don't want to show him how, me, how much 556 five, I can actually take, game. Stop it. God damn it, game. You're so goddamn rude. I also don't want to show him how much 38 I can take to the chest either. Or 556. Five, God damn it, game. So, <laughs> they know I'm in a moment of weakness. So they, he's all, they can't fight back. He can't fight back. Quick, let's ever everyone get a gun and shoot him. And I'm stuck on pumpkins. Now there are five bladed weapons in the game, folks. There's a fire axe, a sickle, a machete, a katana, and lastly, the legendary claymore, called a broadsword in this game. And that would be the most appropriate weapon for our Highlander. The only way William Wallace would approve. And of course, we find those in Kerberos. I would not like to get one of those on the first day. I think that would make the whole playthrough too goddamn easy. So we'll try to avoid that. Although if I see a Kerberos, I will jump in there and at least attempt to grab it. I'd like something a little more humble for our first day. See if I can get lucky and find a wedding ring or some dentures. Come on, game. I got 80 spot. I got 80 spot. What you got? You get. You got. You got a butcher knife. You got a butcher knife for me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Glad I put all those points in the spot. Definitely not a waste of my time. Nope. Alright, uh, not seeing a lot of blade locations. There's several locations that normally do have blades. Fire stations are probably the best place to find a fire axe. But you can also find them in hammer times. I'll show you the shelf when we get to one. It's gonna say there's one right now. Perhaps I'll be able to show you right now. I have no idea where the heck you get a machete normally. I know that you can get sickles from cornfields. I have a theory that you may be able to get a machete or a sickle from a guarding center, but I have yet to prove it. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, you can get a katana from a pawn shop if you're incredibly lucky, which I have not been yet. I'm sad to say. Ah, game. Come on, game. Thank you. Thanks for doing what you oughta. Alright, so, if we're lucky, 
Our first blade weapon should come here. Will it be here? It will not be here. Dumb. Why the... Why did I get 80 spot if you're going to do this to me, game? Hmm? How much spot do I need to actually find a weapon? Okay, well. Enough bitching. We have two fire stations over there. Both places we can find a fire axe, which isn't the best blade weapon in the game, but that's fine. I want it to grow a little. The same reason I only have 55 blades right now. I want our Ben Riley here to grow. I don't want to be easy streak all the way through. I want him to grow and get better weapons, get better at swinging claymores. His skills as surgeon is already legendary. That's the whole reason that he, uh, you know, can have such an abysmal bedside manner, because he just knows how to cut flesh so well. But he can still improve. God damn it. Stupid vertices. Vertices everywhere. Now, what else I was going to say, the reason he's so tough, I like to think, is because he runs marathons and biathlons and triathlons and dicathlons all the time in his off hours. He's very much in shape. And he definitely get. maybe that's another thing he does that makes him very popular is he gets everyone else in good shape, too. He leads all these community fun runs. There's the Ever McCormick High School right there. So this is our last chance. These two fire stations. I'd rather not tango with you goddamn things. <sighs> the firemen zombie are bad news. <laughs> Why is there so many of them? It's like it's a fire station or something. Alright, maybe I can escort you people out of here. Oh, Jesus. Head miss. He was trying to fucking decapitate me. Which I can understand. Alright, come on. Everyone walk out. Follow me. I want to be able to search for that thing without having a goddamn heart attack, okay? So you follow me. We'll take a little run around here. And then I'll just run around the corner. And I'm God, see? I do not exist anymore. Alright, let's get a little more stamina. I know there's a couple more in here somewhere. Oh, God. Okay. <gasps> Did I find it? I found one! I found one! Fire axe! Yes! Now I can defend myself. Fantastic. And we can clear out the fortress. I was really afraid of that. Okay. Okay, now we can actually go on to other things. I didn't see a lot... I'll take that. <laughs> I didn't see a lot of uh, good, like, staff buff buildings on the way here, but... I'll take a quick look. I may have passed a bakery or two. I would like to get some coinage, as I usually would. You know what? I don't really feel like going up there. Are you guys bogarting the stairs? Hmm? You are? Well, I can show you guys how to escape from here pretty easily. Hopefully I don't break my legs in the process, but if it happens, it happens. Alright, so you'll see that we have some lockers down there. If you sprint and run, you can usually land just like that. And you're home free. All right, let's actually head to the other fire station. Oh, goddamn zombies. I mean, you're not a huge problem now that I got full of health, so I don't know why I'm being such a bitch. Maybe I just don't want to attack you right now. If we get some food from there. I also have plenty of stamina. I'm gonna say anybody me in the coffee shop? Eh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit mean. Now in the fire department, I've heard I hear tell that there is a olive oil drop. And I think I've mentioned this before. I hear that it's on the second floor. And I've also heard that it increases your blade skill as much sense as that makes. Maybe it's like it you oil you the blade, I guess. Maybe? That's the closest thing I can think of. I would think it'd only make you better at Italian cooking, but there's no staff for that. Is there another axe over here? Nope. That's usually what happens. You usually get to the other axe and it just... All you find is middle fingers, folks. Alright, well, I'll try to head upstairs. I'm gonna have to fight my way up. I can do that. Are you gonna try to attack me? He's gonna try. There we go. Ow! You fucker. 
I didn't even see him swing as somehow he hit me. I tell you, those ag zombies are really mean if you're doing any kind of melee run. So darn mean. Let's go ahead and get patched up, though. Shouldn't be too hard. I am a doctor. I know how to take care of this. Not the best job I've ever done. Hey there, little fella. I'm gonna cut you out of the equation. Come on. I found that the sweet spot is usually right here on the crotch. For actually getting hits. Because you see, I only have 55, but I'm getting... Well, I was getting pretty consistent hits. Ugh. Now you can see the major downfall of the axe, even though it's a very good weapon. Even with 70 toughness, it is kicking my ass to swing it. Kicking my ass. Okay, we got some water. No olive oil this time, guys. I'm still not sure if I'm looking in the right location. Like, maybe it's in the ovens? You never know with this damn game. Well, it looks like I'll have to increase my skill organically. Although, I guess I could get some organic olive oil, but I can't find it. Without preservatives, it's all bad, right? Okay, well... Let's see if we can find some tools. I wouldn't mind a chainsaw. Nah, no chainsaws. That is asking for quite a bit. The chainsaw is the best the best tool in the game. Okay, that's a corner store. Not the best place in the world. Try to grab some food. We'll go to the high school in just a bit. I didn't even notice you that you in there. It's funny how the cops are always in that place, not in the actual, like, coffee shop. Being the place where zombies usually like to hang out. Or zombies. Cops. Anything good in here? Anything fun? A wedding ring? Perfect! That's what I was hoping for. Perfect. Now I have 30 interaction. For some reason, they always react better when they think you're a married man. I don't know. Now, if I could find some dentures and some blessed wine, that'd be cool. I was kind of hoping for something that increased my my scout, but you can't have everything. Oh. Oh. Okay, you might have some coffee. Let's check. Zombies have so much trouble navigating the terrain over here. Well, we got some lamboigas. That'll go well with my smoked ham. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Ben, please dive when I tell you to dive. Thank you. At least it wasn't some kind of dire circumstance this time. What is that? What is that? I don't think there's a whole lot of good locations on this one, folks. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad I could see you. Goddamn Millzeds. I think I might go in the hammer time again and see if we can find anything cool. Oh man, this place is trashed. Yeah, not a good assortment of buildings on this first day, that's for sure. I've had some phenomenal first days on this game. But this is not one of them. But hell, we found... We got an axe and we got a wedding ring, so I guess that's not too terrible. It's better than a lot of people do. God damn it, not in your face. In the zombie's face, it's different. No, miss. Let me get a little more stamina and I'll go take a whack at her. I still have a long way to go with only 55 blades. But hey, we have 14 days. I should be able to get there. There's actually some weird things with uh, some of the bladed weapons. But I'll show you that as we actually progress. I don't think they can see me. That guy can see me. No, maybe not. See anything in that? Nope. Yes. Oh, it's in that one. Alright, let's do battle. There we go. There's a sweet spot. Again, whenever you're doing melee, it's usually best to get them all at once. That way you can have the most efficient stamina usage. Instead of taking them one at a time, because then you just get fucking tired. God 
goddamn Fire Axe is taking the shit right out of my sails. Look at that, I'm actually in the red from one little encounter. I had full, full fatigue before that all started. Well, I got all kinds of nails and whatnot. I'm actually going to have to pick up some 12, 12 gauge before that's worthwhile. Nothing there. I guess I could, I could show you guys this shelf over here. I've long thought that this might have sickles on it because of what else it has on it. You might guess what it has on it, although it's not going to show us this time. No, it's not. Even with 80 goddamn spot, the game is just hosing me. Oh, no. You get a wedding ring. You don't get anything else. Well, anyway, there's usually pitchforks in there. I've long thought you might be able to find some other interesting weapons. Pitchforks, of course, are blunt weapons. As much sense as that makes. No matter how much you sharpen them, folks, they're still going to be blunt. Alright, is this a vet? I think it is. Might be a medical center. What do we got in the desk? Anything good? Bubkiss? Gotcha. Might be able to find some chocolate over here. Not just some citral, which... Eh. I don't really care that much about density this time, but... I'd rather have something a little better in citral. Something with essential vitamins and nutrients, you know? All it is is orange color and water. It doesn't have any citric acid in it. I found something. That's interesting. Must be on the other side of this. Hello? What we got? Huh, blood! Interesting. Well, there you go, folks. Another place to find blood. Just in case you didn't have enough assault well whoppet skill. There's more blood. Uh, what do I want to do now? Okay, Ford is in that direction. Let me take one little peek over here. I think it's nothing but houses. Yeah, let's just head to the fort. We've got enough stuff for now. I would have liked more, but I think this is as good as it gets. And I see a zombie over there, so I'm just going to jump through a window. I said I'm just going to jump through a fucking window. Thank you. Goddamn game. And I don't think there's anything else worthwhile in here, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's stuff over here? I also see a med kit or something. I can't remember. All these weird conduct runs I do always get me looking in weird locations for stuff. Although I didn't really have to look too much for, uh... Oh, what was it? For a crowbar, of course. I think I popped in there already, didn't I? Yeah, it's... I got some Lamburgers out of there. Yeah, I think we'll just run on. There's nothing else here. Nothing else. Except a whole bunch of... Pain, misery, and woe. A lot of zombies on this first day. Usually they're not so, uh... Thick and viscous. <laughs> because that's how they are, viscous. They're like fucking molasses. Well, I mean, that's not too far from the facts. They are pretty slow. I only have 10 speed and I'm leaving them in the dust. I could pop into this uh, Chinese food place, but I really don't want to get plugged by the copper that's in there. Uh, that's not a bad thing. Still want to pick up that goddamn katana. I want that thing. Is there anything cool over there? Just a motel. I've often wondered what kind of crazy stuff's in there. I think I've actually found, like, pennies and stuff in there. Here they come. It's alright. I'll grab you chocolates. No bed. Let's see if I can get some coffee, too. Try to use the terrain to my advantage. Try it again. I'm gonna say, I may be able to peg him from over here without being hit. Stop it. Stop it. Down. Down. Off Berger. I think he may have lost track of me. Why can't you hit him, Ben Riley? Hmm? There you go. Good work. Cut him down with minimal problems. We. You're just hopping and bebopping. Yes, you are. Now you're too high for me to hit. Get down here. Little bastard. Why can I not hit you? 
Why are you standing there like a dumbass? There you go. Come on. I'm trying to cheese the game, and it's not its not giving me any of it. Of course, he can try to bite me. What is going on here? Get down here. You know what? Fuck you. I don't have enough time for your bullshit. I'm tired, and I want to go to bed, so I'm going to head to our fort. I should probably get a little more stamina before I do this. He looks on, almost depressed as I leave. Here's our new home yet again. And here are our new friends. All four of them. Come on, everybody. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. Everybody come over to the picnic table. You fucking dumb shits. Okay, so if they... Come on, hop over here. I want everyone to show up before I start swinging. Now, Ben Riley, can you jump for me? Jump. There you go. Don't let him bite you. There you go. There we go. Now we can get cutting. We can cut to the chase. There we go. Come on. There we go. I was gonna say, I'd like to get all three of them, if possible. I just don't want this guy on the end to get clever. There we go. I'm not exactly sure where the aim to get the full swing. There we go. Not bad. I wanted to see how far those legs went. Sometimes they'll just go on forever. Oh, good old picnic table cheese. Picnic cheese. Could be picnic cheese. Alright, well this place is mostly cleared out. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some medicals. Because as I've shown, we are going to need those. Right now we only have the med kit, which is only half full. So happy we got that wedding ring. It's so annoying when you go and, like, spend five hours to reach a survivor for them to go, No, you're someone who gets other people killed. And that's when I wish I could actually kill survivors in this game. Because if you're not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. You're a competitor for resources. And I just can't have that. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a med kit once I rearrange some junk. There we go. Now let's head over to the cafeteria since that's usually where they're squatting. Now, I think I told you I was going to announce one more conduct when we reach this point. Ben Riley will be the only survivor to fight on the last day, folks. The only one. Everyone else will be safely stowed away. And he will be the only one to fight. Because there can be only one to face the hordes. And he will be that one. And I have taken damage. You rude fucking zombies. Ben Riley, can you please hit that big one? There you go. Now you're cooking with a uh, fire axe. Come on. Go for the head. There we go. I obliterated his torso. The blade of the axe just got stuck in the sternum. And I pulled it out. And it took the whole rib cage, if you can believe it. That was the end of that little piece of shit. There we go. Just like with the crowbar, you can interrupt their attacks. You can stun lock them. But it takes incredible skill. And I, uh, in fact, do not have that most of the time. Alright, can we heal? No, I guess I just took unhealable damage. I hate when that happens. It's not that bad. Now, what do we got in here? We got something on the other side. And we got water and salad. Let's see, do we have anything better here? Oh, yeah. We got calzones, motherfuckers. I love those things. Even in real life, I love calzones. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. You get the fuck out, water. <laughs> water is less important than calzones, folks. Now, I don't think that bacon is sneaking in here anytime soon. Why you no sneak bacon? Sneaky bacon. You need to get in there. Yes, you do. I was going to say this butcher knife can get out of here and that'll make it less confused, I guess. Which is right there, actually. Move you up here. Move you up here. Game's all. You think I can rearrange this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> 
Uh, you know what? I might as well just get rid of the nails at this point, because I don't know how to make a land shark. Although I can put you right there. A med kit probably is more important at this point, considering how many people I have to feed. That'll work. And now you can rearrange shit. And there's only, like, a few places at the bomb, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and clear this place out and call it a day. Really not a bad day at all. I've been chewed up worse. So much worse. I mean, I didn't see a Kerberos today. I could have really gotten shot up then. Although I'm kind of glad we did not find a Kerberos and additionally found a broadsword within because that would have made this whole playthrough way too goddamn easy. Even though it's the most most prevalent of bladed weapons, it is, like, the most powerful in the game. Although, I think you could probably swing the katana for much longer. And it's more about stamina. Can you please hit him? Thank you. I know you only have 55 blades. You need to work on it. Are these zombies really juking and jiving this much there, Riley? Are they? I'm dubious. I'm a bit skeptical that they are that, you know, hard to hit. I going to say, as a, as a concept, as a whole concept, zombies I do not find scary at all. They seem like inept creatures in every possible way. The only thing they have is, like, a natural strength. But there you go. Base captured. We'll go ahead and go done. Let's go ahead and empty my inventory. We'll just drop everything. Except for our wedding ring and our axe. And let's see. I will take some medical tape and gauze for tomorrow. We'll go ahead and make myself the doctor. Because I am a doctor, goddammit. It only makes sense. How much food do we have? 115? I guess that's adequate. You know? I'm going to tear into that ham tonight, though. You know that much, folks. Let's go ahead and end the day. And let's see, of course I start a journal, all the same as always. I found Ember McCormick High School. And let's see, I uh, ate some food, I slept, I uh, gave myself medical treatment with some medical tape. And let's see, my blade skill is now at 46. I started at 45, so that's not incredible. And the weird thing about fire axes is they don't have, like, their own weapon skill. I I have no idea what's going on. A lot of the other bladed weapons do, but for some reason the fire axe is not. It's kind of weird that there's a bug in this game. Am I right? So tomorrow we have a whole bunch of guns, one survivor, and one food. So you know what, folks? We'll head to the survivor. I might have to stop by one of these gun locations, because you'll see it says, should be able to find some weapons here. There's actually a troll location where it gives you sickles and machetes, folks. So that'd be nice. So we'll see if that happens tomorrow, folks. I'll see you then.